Hey, what's up, guys? I'm very tired, but they released Act 7, um, Chapter 1, Quest 1 only. There's only three quests in every thing, but um, when Act 7 was coming out, I was hoping it would be more of not Act 6, basically, where it's just ghost everything. Like, I'm, I'm sort of thankful I've ghosted, honestly, dude. If you've made it this far without a ghost, dude, she's so good. Like, if you don't have a ghost, it just makes things so much harder. But we're going to go over, like, all the paths. And then the boss, I've done all the paths. The reason why most of them are, some of them aren't finished is because I just didn't do the boss again. I didn't want to have to do that boss fight again. It was really annoying. So there's nine paths, and the order I'm going to explain them is like this. Like, starts from this one, then goes around, all the way around. So, like, this will be path nine, and then this is path one, basically, um, if I want to X out. So, yeah, path one, one of the most basic of all the paths is just stun, stun vulnerability. <laughs> Vulnerability, Arc Overload, Armored, and Regen Assault. So basically, they have Stun Vulnerability, which is helpful when they're stunned to get more damage, but it also has Arc Overload. And then some fights will have Vigorous Assault, or then or Armored Assault, or something like that. Which is So it's Vigorous Assault if they're regening, they're unblockable. So they're unblockable when they're regening, and the Arc Overload also helps that. But if they're a character like Civil Warrior, it'll be Armored Assault, which is every time they have, they have armor, they're unblockable. So yeah, that's bad. Pretty easy. I don't have anything like written. I wrote down notes for, like each path. This path is pretty easy. Not much to um, really remember or like not to like look out for. But that's pretty much a pretty easy path. Path two. We got life cycle, small arms, counter tactics, life cycle. Um, I mean, if you've made it to X seven, you know what it does. You can pause it and read if you don't need to. But um, all of these notes have already been in the game before. Small arms. It just basically makes it so that heavy attacks characters that rely on heavies. Don't do like any damage because consistent heavies will do less damage to characters like Captain America and Infinity Wars can't really be really bad for this path. Um, unless you just don't go for heavies, but and then life cycle, which means you gotta knock them down to like break down the shield and then kill them under the shield. So it's like just ghost. You gotta use ghost. Like if you don't have ghost, it's kind of aids because kind of tactics. Every time you hit, they get a little bit more attack. The defender increases base attack by twenty percent for each hit of the attacker's combo meter. So if you have 10 hits in the combo meter, they already have 200% attack. And with the block damage they already have, it's pretty much just death. So it's really cancer. And then one thing to look out for in this path is there is a magic. So yeah, definitely bring a magic counter if you're going to go for path 2. And yeah, I'm going to go to path 3. And path 3 is when um, eh, it's, it gets a little bit more like new nodes. Like there's different nodes that we haven't seen before. So there's arrogance. Redouble Determination, Cold Turkey 3. Um, so Arrogance, every 10 hits in the combo meter, on your combo meter, it will um, give them a p falter passive, cause you to miss for one second, for every 10 seconds, uh, for every 10 hits in the combo sec uh, meter. So basically the longer the fight goes on, the longer this falter thing lasts. And it gets really annoying. And every debuff they have, they get more power, gain an attack from Redouble Determination. But then, also that you get Cold Turkey 3, which is, Whenever the attacker purifies the debuff, they receive a burst of like, like the, the defender's attack. So you got to use. Uh, so you basically you got to use ghost. Um, if you're if you try to purify a debuff like with the character like Aegon that I used, it's not good. It really hurts someone like Aegon or someone who purifies debuffs. So, but if you use ghost plus hood synergy. When you remove the debuffs, you're phasing, so you don't take the damage. So Ghost with Hood Synergy is counter to it. Um, and then another thing to remember is there is a Mysterio, Annihilus, and Mr. Sinister on this path. So you have to plan accordingly, bring up the right characters so you can deal with these fights. Um, yeah, and Ability Accuracy can stop the node. So you use Archangel, it could stop Arrogance, but it also has Redouble Determination, so just watch out for that. So yeah, then we go to path four. This is when it gets really fun. I couldn't do this path for one reason, and when we get there, I'll put it on the screen. But this path is Icarus buffed up in EMP mod. So Icarus is you get all the Furies buffed up. Is they take no damage unless you have three buffs um, or more. Um, they can be the same buffs so like the Fury from Icarus, but the Icarus also triggers EMP mod. So. You can, what I was just doing is just ghost zerking this thing down. You can really, um, well, you can be able to do the whole path without spending any revives except for one fight that we need to do. But, um, 
Bring it, um, it, if you don't have Ghost, Thing is really good for this path. Um, there's a Man Thing on the path, which is annoying because of crit resistance. And if you want to like save units from the EMP mod, because you're going to probably take damage from that, uh, you got to just use, um, just farm a crap ton of potions in Realm of Legends for going in here if, if you want to take like no um, units. But if you don't care, then screw it. So there is a Clairvoyant on the path. That is kind of sus. It um, had all these nodes, but every time she let you hit her with Ghost, at least when I was using, she would just nullify my Furies, and I could never do damage because of the buff drop node. So I think the only counter is Thing, unless I'm like really mistaken, and maybe she only nullifies Ghost, and maybe I'm just stupid, but she was nullifying all my Furies and Ghost. But Thing works because he's immune to getting nullified, so she couldn't nullify the Furies away from him, so that's a really weird interaction. If you don't have Thing, I don't know who can do this fight. Um, so yeah, that is really weird, and I don't like that, the fact that only like one character can do it. And then this fight right here, I'm putting on the screen now, this is the most scuffed fight I've ever seen. Because it's a thing, first of all, so that just makes it annoying already. It has EMP mod, so you're gonna die if, you, if the fight lasts long enough, unless you have a shock immune. But you got Icarus on top of it, dude. So... If you use a Shockman character, you can technically one-shot this fight. But Icarus keeps triggering this dude's protection, so you do, like, no damage. And then on top of that, I think it's glitched. I was trying to really hard to find, but he, every few fights, this dude would just randomly regenerate. I don't know why he would regenerate to full. I don't know if I'm missing something. But I couldn't even get past him. So I was very confused. Every few fights, he would just randomly regenerate to max, which is really, really not good. I don't know why that was happening. I couldn't tell you why that was happening. But I literally couldn't beat this fight, so yeah. Uh, hopefully they fix that. And now we get to path five, which is what is this? Defend, uh, defective, defense, tenacity, and clap back. So this path, eh? If you don't have ghosts, it's gonna be kind of annoying for like a few of the fights. But you can be able to do it with any champion. It's just kind of annoying. It's Make sure you don't use champions that rely on debuffs, know how to intercept it very well, and don't bring debuff champions like Nick Fury that aren't immune to their own debuffs like Bleed, so, yeah. Um, so basically, defensive or defective defense um, places like a debuff on you every time you block, every time they hit your block, which minuses your like block efficiency by like 25%, so like four blocks, and you're just, they're pretty much like they're hitting you. It's really not fun, and with tenacity, tenacity on top of it, you pretty much just have to intercept. So, yeah, if you don't have ghosts, this path seems like it'd be really annoying, especially considering the fact that there's a war machine here. So, like, the spam special one could really destroy a lot of characters if you don't have ghosts. So, yeah, I, I don't really like the design for that path. The path's kind of trash, not gonna lie. Now we got to path six. This path is power struggle, power from afar, and unblockable specials. So unblockable specials, just all specials are unblockable. Power struggle, um, every time they gain a bar of power, you gain a bar of power. But if they throw a special, you lose a bar of power. So you pretty much just whatever the bar they're at, you're going to be at. And then powerful from afar. And every time you're like not near the opponent, they're going to gain a power buff, uh, which will like shoot the power up. And all their special attacks are unblockable. So just know if you don't have... I hate saying it again, but you got to use Ghost and Hood Synergy. Actually, for this path, Doc Ock can bully the path just by, like, spam heavies, except for some of the fights he doesn't work for. So, yeah. And then uh, there's a Vision Arcus, Havoc, and Mephisto here. So you got to make sure you plan ahead here because, yeah. Um, it is kind of annoying because if they didn't have powerful... If it didn't have the power gain, if you're not close to them, then I could just quake all this. I quake the Mephisto at least. But yeah, it is kind of an annoying path. Um, so yeah. Okay, next we got stunning. Uh, well, if we go down. Wait, where the fuck am I? Okay, so this is the middle. And we go down around the loop. So this is path seven. It has. I d and these ones, they're not complete, but I did do the whole path just to like make sure. And then I would just X out because I didn't really want to do the boss again. We're going to get into the boss after, but. So. For past seven, stunning reflection and foresight. It's basically just stunning reflection from 5.4, and if you're on X6, you've done 5.4, so you should know what this is. Well, if you've explored, I mean, not five, I'm at 6.4. If you fully explored X6, you should know what this is. 
Uh, basically, just if you stun them, it's going to reflect onto you like everyone's Black Panther, basically. Um, and Foresight kind of helps you if you intercept them, you get it the smallest basic attack. It really doesn't do much. I don't even know why they added this. You get 3% attack, and then it doesn't stack. I mean, I, I don't know. This seems kind of stupid and pointless, but I mean, it's there. Um, you have to be really good at intercepting for this path, and Quake does not work. I tried it, but it still reflects on her, so yeah. And there's not really any like trouble fights, so yeah. And then we got path 8, which I really didn't like, um, called Meltdown, as a new node, and Kinetic Transference and Explosive Personality. Kinetic Transference is annoying for certain characters, because every time you block, they get... 10% of their power, so champions like Darkhawk at the end of the path is kind of annoying with special one spam. But what um, Meltdown does is whenever they're struck, so whenever you hit them, you get like a charge, and if the defender is ever knocked down, um, well, anyway, with like a heavy or special, you take all the charges and basically die. So pretty much don't knock them down unless you knock them down with a power drain character like, um, What's her name? Like, um, magic. You have magic for this special two spam. It would work, but most characters, I would just say don't use specials and you don't want to die. So it's kind of annoying. Um, there's a Thor Ragnarok that you can't really deal with unless you have magic ones again or any other power drain character that has specials or something like that because, um, you know, once he gets to his 20 charges, he's in a power gain, but you don't want to take the special attack with most characters because you'll even take crap and damage. So just be aware of that. Um, yeah, it's just kind of a cheap path, in my opinion. I'm not using specials or heavies for no reason. And then this path, by far probably the worst one, I would say. Is, I didn't even attempt it. I just looked at it, and I was like, nah. So it's basically the the node, the link node, is just defender starts with um, bleed immunity, which alternates every 10 seconds to poison immunity, then back and forth, so it just keeps going back and forth, which is fine on its own, but then they're replaced. So every time there's a fight, you can bleed, it has a bleed vulnerability and do you bleed? And then every time you use a fight, you can't bleed and you can poison. You have to do acid wash and poison vulnerability. And so both, both of them is just you have to have um, a champion who can do bleed damage and a champion who can do poison damage. It, it fights, the fights are so long. It's really just a bad design path. I really don't like it. There's not much. I don't like hard characters on it, but it's really just long, and boring. And it wouldn't be as bad, but the shifting immunity is just so bad, dude. It's such a stupid design. Because you can only like, get damage half the time, basically. It's just it's just a money grabber. It's just really stupid. So, yeah. Then we go on to the boss, which is an Emma Frost. And this Emma Frost, she was basically designed um, so you can't use Ghost. And she's just annoying on top of it. So she has permanent heal block and oscillate. So this is just annoying as is. But then she has a node called Rust Terrain, which is whenever the defender is struck, there's a 50% chance to inflict armor break on the attacker. And so it just reduces your armor rate. And if you have five of these, it's permanent. So basically you just can't use ghost here. This is just an anti-ghost boss. I don't know. This is kind of a stupid. That node was just thought up to counter ghost. So yeah. I'll put the gamble on the screen. But yeah, that's what there is for... That's all there is. I mean, for quest one of Act Seven, it's a lot. There's nine paths. The paths are long. Uh, some of them are BS. But there's only three quests for each. Um. Uh, for each what's it called? For each um chapter, unless they add more. So that is interesting. That there's only three, but I don't know. We'll see if they add more. So, it looks like the second box is Modoc, which is going to be so fun, I can tell you that now. The third one is, I don't know, that's some like weird Gwenpool, Gwenpool plus another character from some side event a long time ago, I really don't remember, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, give it a like, comment, subscribe, and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one, peace.